Okay, we're at Appalachia's Organic Orchard, which is about a two and a half acre orchard, certified organic on the south end of Salt Spring. We grow about 210 varieties here. Uh, so, and we also have the largest collection of red flesh apples in Canada. We have about 60 varieties of red flesh apples, which are just amazing. Um, I grow on a fairly large rootstock, which is the old system, which means that the trees that are older do not need any irrigation. And that I think creates the best type of apples. But for the first five years, the trees need irrigation. And this summer was a very dry summer. And even though I've got a fairly extensive irrigation system and a rainwater collection system, I ran out of water about August 28th. So I decided I need another 3000 gallon water tank to collect water off my woodshed. And that's what I'm in the process of doing. So I think the thing to do, the best thing to do is we'll show you how the system works and then we'll go through piece by piece. You're looking at the rainwater collection system, which is coming off about a, a thousand square feet of roof. And we're collecting water off both sides of the roof. It's coming down by uh, eaves trough and we're collecting from both sides. It flows into this garbage pail here. And then I simply have a sump pump that will, when the, this, this pail is full, it pumps into one of our three tanks, whichever I choose. Right now we're filling tank number two because tank number one is already full. Sump then, the water gets pumped over here underground to one of our three tanks. And this is tank number one and it's already full. You can tell by the dull sound when I, when I uh, pound on it. And um, so right now we're filling tank number two, which is about three quarters full. And uh, I control which tank it goes into by valves at the bottom of the verticals that go up into the tanks. This valve is open, which allows the water from that little sump pump and the garbage pail to go flowing up here into tank number two. And we're filling tank number two now. And down below, it's got a hollow, uh, uh, solid sound. Up top, it's got a hollow sound, which means we're somewhere in about here for level. And when this one's full, then we're going to start filling number three, which is completely empty. Tank number three, no water in it yet. It's the one that's going to be filled next, but you can tell right away by the sound. That hollow sound tells you the tank is empty. So when I need water, a very simple system as well. I can select which tank I want to use. And basically then I select num tank number one, let's say. And let me see. So I open tank number one turn on the pump and then and then that directs water to wherever I need it in the orchard and there are 55 45 gallon drums pail drums uh, in the orchard all over the orchard that I can pump to and I can also pump into the greenhouse or I can pump to sprinklers on the garden so I have a choice of where it's going to and that's how I get it out of these tanks on some of the barrels out there, the barrels are mostly storage for, in this case, blueberries and also for little trees. And so they are spread out through the orchard. The water comes out of them with a bucket. Um, whereas in the garden, I can use a sprinkler or a hose to get it to where I want in the garden. Okay, once I have the pump on, then I can go to any one of the 55 barrels in the orchard and just open this valve and that will fill the, the particular barrel that I want filled. Uh, the other thing I can do, I can go over to this sprinkler system here. I can turn this sprinkler system on and that will, that will water this quarter of the garden. Or I can also take a hose and I can direct the water into this hose that will allow me to sprinkle other parts of the garden if I want. So uh, it's a pretty flexible system and the overall system now is storing about three times 3,000 plus 2,500 which is roughly 11,500 11, gallons of water, rainwater. Uh, 
normally that would get me through a summer but this particular summer was extra dry and i only got through to about august 28th so uh, that's why i need another tank to get me through a dry summer and i'll get tank a fifth tank if i need it but right now i think number four might do it okay so we have another ideal situation here to collect rainwater and this is where tank number four is going to go right in here this is my woodshed which is a quite a big area and so this will really fill up nicely and we'll do the same sort of system here that i have on my house um, so draining down into a garbage pail sump pump up into the tank and then a drain off the bottom over to the little red pump where we'll then get it into the system okay so this is my pride and joy this is my nursery of about 900 young apple trees. These apple trees are all one year old. They've shown an amazing growth for one year. And uh, this is one of the things that needed a lot of water through the summer. Normally, they get water every week or so, but this particular summer, especially in the really hot times, they were getting it every three days. So uh, this is also a good revenue for me um, in about January to about April. It's revenue that there's no other revenue coming in at the farm except apple trees and these will get shipped all over Canada. There's again 210 varieties here. Many of them don't exist anywhere else in Canada and so it's a real treasure trove for apple growers. This is the harvest of the late apples that we grow here uh, and these are ready to go to Victoria next Saturday. I sell at the Moss Street Market in Victoria. So. Uh, People are able to get my apples over there and uh, they just love them. So I just want to demonstrate some of the red flesh here because they are quite an amazing apple. So one of them is grenadine and this apple was created in Northern California by an apple breeding genius called Albert Eder. And the chefs love this because it bakes up uh, pink and it also um, has a lot of taste. The red color gives it incredible taste. So that's grenadine, again by Albert Eder. And we've also got another one here. This is called Hidden Rose, which is another amazing apple. And also created by Albert Eder. And you can see Hidden Rose. Okay, so thank you for looking at the water system that we have on Salt Spring to keep this incredible orchard going. We use only rainwater if we can get the right amount of tanks. And uh, I think that creates a better system anyways, because rainwater is always a little bit warmer than groundwater, which is a well. And I don't particularly want to draw water out of the reservoir down below. So I'd rather just do rainwater. So I would also like to thank Transition Salt Spring for the help that they have arranged, the financial help for uh, purchasing tank number four.